Hi and welcome again to yet another lecture on web mapping with Python and Folium. This is the map we built this far. And it contains a base layer, a polygon layer and a marker layer. This is our code. Now, uh, what I want to do in this lecture, I want to implement a feature that allows me to turn the custom layers on and off. With custom layers, I mean the polygon layer and the marker layer. Because it's not possible to turn off the base map, at least as far as I know. And it wouldn't make sense to turn off the base layer. You don't want a blank page. Uh, so, let's see how to do that. The key feature here is a layer control class of the volume module, which can be added like this. You want to point to the map object and then uh, you want to add a child. So layer control is added as a child. So volume layer control. Now, this will not work. But I still want to execute this so, so that you don't make this mistake later on. Uh, so let me reload the page. Uh, you only see the base map here, no layers at all. The reason this doesn't work is that when you added layer control to the map, you still hadn't added the feature group, which is a, a obj an object that contains the JSON layer and the marker layer. So basically layer control will be looking for, for the feature group added to the map, but it, it doesn't find it at this point. Therefore, things are messed up. So it's important to put that after you have added the feature group layer to the map right here. Save and execute again. Reload the map and you see the layers there and you see this box here. So map box bright. This is about the base map and you cannot turn this off. And you also have this my map item here of the layer control panel. So this is a layer control panel. And you can turn on and off this layer. But as you see, this is turning off and on both the polygon and the point layer at the same time, which is something you don't want. So uh, we go ahead and change that and I, I'll explain why this happens. So this is happening because, you know, layer control, what, what it does, it, it looks for objects added to map with a child, like here. So you have added a child and you have added only one child to the map object. Therefore, uh, layer control will consider that object as one single item of the layer control panel. Uh, but that uh, that feature group object, it contains the circle markers, but it also contains the GeoJSON layer. Therefore, you need to change your strategy here. Uh, so, uh, how can you do that? Well, there may be different ways. One way is to actually create a feature group for volcanoes. Let's call it FGV. So you add FGV here. And then you want another feature group let me copy this line, paste it here. Uh, you want another feature group for population. Let's call this population. Let's call this volcanoes. Like that. Change the variable name. FG, uh, FGP. FGP here. Okay. FGV there. Add another child, which has to be FGP for population. Yeah, now everything looks good. So let's see if layer control will be able to read these two feature groups now. Okay, go and reload. The map looks fine. Volcanoes working well population 2. So everything is working fine. This is a map. And yeah, if you were able to build this as 
I did, then good job. Um, you can also choose not to use feature groups, actually. So you could have added a, a GeoJSON to the map directly. However, for, for this case, for volcanoes, where you are adding, uh, you, you are executing the add child method multiple times, in that case, you'd have one layer for every volcano. So you'd have added 62 children to your map object if you if you did map without feature group here. So that means in this control panel here you'd have 62 entries, 62 layers. And that, that's not what you want, so feature group comes in handy in here. For volcanoes it is necessary, but for GeoJSON you could have used map here and everything would be fine. But for consistency it's good to add both to particular to specific feature groups. Volcanoes here and population here. So now this is the code and I hope you enjoyed this program and feel free to ask questions. And I'll talk to you later on. See you.